Let's go on to 430.22. Let's talk about size in the conductor to a single motor. The rule is this. Conductors for a single motor are sized for continuous duty application no less than 125% of the table full low current rating. Well, if it's a DC motor, not very often, it would be table 247. If it's a single phase AC motor, well, a single phase would be AC. Then it'd be table 430.248. If it's three phase, it's table 430.52. Ryan, if you can go ahead and hold up that, that code book of mine right there. Uh, 430.250. Um, just show the guys the tabs on the side there. Mm -hmm. And that's an old code book of mine back. No, just to the side of the tabs here. Just open up there. One of the things that you want to do is when you get your code book, you want to make sure you have tabs. And one of the tabs is to, to make sure that it's going to give you motor full low currents because that's going to be something that's very common that you're going to use there. So get tabs with your code book. You'll notice the code book was highlighted. It's marked. Little notes inside there. Make it personalized. All right. So we know how to get the full low currents by going to the table. We don't use the nameplate. We use the table. So let's just work an example. If you size the conductor no less than 125% of the ampacity, and that's 430.22, and the example is 7.5 horsepower at 230 volts, three phase, then we'd have to go to, guys, get your code book out, put me on pause, take a look at your code book, look at 430, three phase was what? 250. 430.250. 430.250. Go to 230 volts, three phase, go down, seven and a half horsepower. Is that full low current listed in the code book as 22 amperes? Yes, it yes. is. Yes. And then you size the conductor no less than 20, 125% of that. So we get 22 amps. 22 amps, that's A, times 1.25 equals 27.5 amperes. And then I go to table 31015B16. And I have to find some wire rated 75 degrees C, rated 27.5 amperes, and that'd be 10 gauge wire rated 35 amperes. So I would run a 10 gauge wire for the branch circuit conductors. <clears throat> Eric? Yeah, Mike, can you go back to your previous graphic? I just want to point something out I think is critically important here. In the graphic, it says uh, sizing conductors to a single motor continuous duty application. I need to point out here that the word continuous in Article 430 is not an Article 100 definition and it doesn't have anything to do with a three hour rating. <clears throat> in fact, the definition is found in uh, underneath the table 430.22e and it states <clears throat> any motor application shall be considered as continuous duty unless the nature of the apparatus it drives is such that the motor will not operate continuously with any load under any condition of use. So what that means basically is this. All motors are continuous. One second. All motors are continuous duty. They're, 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 they're rated continuous duty. They're rated continuous. All motors are, are continuous duty for this application unless they absolutely positively must stop in performance of their duty. They, they, like, can't, they can't continue to work because they get to the end of the process and it stops. And then it goes, and it goes, and it stops. And it's just the way the inherent design of the system. Or like is, an elevator. Yeah. An elevator has to stop. But thermostatically controlled pump, or pressure controlled pump, that's a continuous motor. Because it could run for three hours. Or more. It could run. Well, it could run, whatever. Okay, good point. <clears throat> so we're dealing with only continuous duty motors. So we size the conductor 125 percent. Go to table 31015B16, 10 gauge wire. Now I'll just make a note right now. We're going to be putting a 60-amp breaker on that, and that'll be fine. We'll talk about that in a few minutes.